All right, now we got a problem. It's sweet picking. Let's pick the right guitar. How about a Telecaster? I always thought Telecasters were kind of funny because they're so square. <laughs> I saw a guy play in a uh, 50s tribute band when I was in middle school, and he was playing a Telecaster. The guy had greased hair and kind of nerd glasses and a nerd suit. And I thought, man, that guy looks like a nerd, but he looks like he's having fun. I got interested in 50s rock and roll at that time. <laughs> It wasn't that old. It wasn't that much of an ancient. It seemed pretty relevant, you know, 50s rock and roll in the 70s. It wasn't that old of stuff. All right, now this is my nemesis, so I'll get all in good position here. So it looks like we're doing C major 7. Ooh. I'm good. There's a sweep. See, I can do it. So I set up for that chord with my middle ring and index. Here's a D minor seven. So E minor seven must be this. F major seven. Whoa. G seven. A minor seven. Uh oh. Oh, we got a B flat, a B minor flat five. A B minor seven flat five. All right. Ooh, cool. Wow. I love it. Holy moly, that's a great one. All right, I think I got it memorized. Close the book. Here I go. never done that kind of exercise or at least exactly like that so this is new material but I'm 58 gonna be 59 pretty soon I'm still learning my mind is still flexible a little bit to bring in new patterns and information uh Oh, oh. <laughs> Notice how that chord sounds kind of sad. Kind of dreary, because it's a C major seven. So we could have done it as a C major, and it would have sounded kind of super obvious, but instead major seven, it's kind of a softer. the seventh note of a C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be a B every time. That's your major seven. That's why we end on that note. All right, let's see if I can do it again. That's freaky. <laughs> yeah, that guy, the B minor seven flat five. So this, you know, the chords are pretty obvious. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the seven? It's either diminished or minor seven flat five, from my experience of what I've seen in books and teachings. So it can be one of two things. Uh, while the other chords, I think there's plenty of uh, substitutions and colors and extensions and so forth, which makes it kind of confusing. But you know, if you understand this basic kind of framework, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, sorry. 
the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven is the weird one. I think that's what the author wants us for sweet picking. They want us to kind of whip through that. Well, I'm I'm more like going. But I need to get brink. Oops. That's just really fun. So the book is not getting worse, it's getting better. It's getting more fun as we go. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you're having fun with this. Hope I hope you still got some skin on your hand. <laughs> That's what your hand's gonna look like when you get done with the book, so be careful. <laughs> it's Halloween.